Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Anka and I do art and illustration related videos. So if you're into that, make sure you subscribe and check out the other videos on my channel. So in this video, I will show you how to make clay pendant necklaces. For this project, you will need some air dry clay, a rolling pin. I have this acrylic one, which is actually for polymer clay, but it works just as fine. You will also need some sculpting tools like a dotting tool and some wooden tools to smooth the air dry clay down. You will also need an exacto knife or some sort of fine tip blade. I also use this uh, gouache glass varnish for my projects which is from a brand I will link in the description box. For attaching the clay pendants to your necklaces you will need these types of needles with a loop on the end which you will insert into your uh, pendants. You can probably find these at any art and hobby shops or find them online. You will also need some ring loops. Uh, this will come in handy to attach the necklace to the uh, needle I showed you before. And you will need some necklaces. I chose these um, stainless steel necklaces which are about 60, 60 centimeters long. And yeah, I think they look pretty cool. And of course, you will need something to decorate your pendants with. I chose acrylic paint this time. Uh, this is from Artistro, but you can use whatever brand you have. So to start off my project, I printed out the sketches I had for, for the three designs I'm making here. Uh, I'm making two cat pendants and one artist palette one. So I printed them out on adhesive paper and added the adhesive paper onto a cardboard or cardstock paper and with my exacto knife I started cutting out the shapes as closely and as accurate as I can. This is a painstaking process if you're not used to cutting uh, really precisely, that's why I recommend you get an exacto knife. But basically this will be your stencils for cutting out the air dry clay in the shape that you want. So <laughs> I really love these three designs, I think the artist palette one uh, is my favorite. So the next step is taking out your air dry clay and uh, cutting a pretty large chunk of it, rolling it into a ball and with your rolling pin um, spreading out the air dry clay, making it as thick as you want. Uh, then using your stencils you will cut out the shapes and for the artist palette design I used a dotting tool to add the little holes in it where you mi usually mix your paint and I think it worked perfectly and it looks pretty accurate. So this is a time consuming process. You have to fiddle a lot with the air dry clay to get it as smooth as possible. I usually spend about three hours doing this process um, so that I don't have to sand down too much when the air dry clay is dry. So I did this three times uh, for each design. Uh, I made five cat pendants for each cat design and I made uh, 10 artist palette ones. Uh, it's good to have some tools at hand like wooden tools, uh, really basic ones but they do help a lot with fine details and making everything as smooth as possible. So with air dry clay you need to leave it to dry for at least 24 hours if not 48 hours but since these are small pieces uh, 24 hours is enough. After that you will need to sand them down uh, to get any imperfections out. I really hate doing this and I won't be talking too much about it. I use a pretty fine sandpaper. I don't know the grit of it but I will try to look it up. So after everything is dry and sandpapered you can start painting. For the artist palette ones I used a white acrylic as a base. Um, this usually helps in case you are using a varnish. Varnishes tend to make the air dry clay a bit more yellow and if you add a coating of acrylic paint on top then uh, the varnish will not affect the air dry clay in any way. So here I am painting the little dots of paint. I found a better method after <laughs> painting like five of them to add the color so I just use my dotting tool and that took a lot less time but <laughs> it took me a while to figure that out. The thing is you need to make the best of your tools. Um, 
these tools I gathered in my collection throughout the years and I figured out while working with them which is the best way to use them and the most convenient and time efficient. So here with the black cat uh, pendant I had a bit of issues. <laughs> I had a different design in mind. I started painting them black then I started adding some yellow details to them. I didn't like them. I painted over them again and uh, sometimes things like this happen but with acrylic paint it's really nice that you can cover up any mistakes. It was really hard to get the fine details since they are so small and at the time I didn't have a proper brush to use. Uh, all my brushes were pretty frayed and I wish the designs would have been a, a lot more crisper but I think they look still really cute and yeah um, I like the pose of this cat in particular the one stretching I think it's adorable so here I remade the black cat design I decided to go with a black and white color theme for it it was simple and it made much more sense uh, I don't know why but it, I struggled to get their faces uh, really in the way that I wanted them to and I painted over them a couple of times and yeah the struggle was real so here I am attaching the necklaces to the pendants. This was again a very time consuming process. You will need two of these um, tools. I don't know how they are called. I will list them in the description box as well. And you will need to attach the ring links to the pendants and then attach the necklace to the ring link. And since they are so small, uh, everything kept falling out of my hands and it was really annoying, but I managed to do them. And after that, I added the varnish and let them dry, hung up on my shelves. And this is the end result. I'm really happy with how they came out. And you can actually purchase them in my shop next week. They are in limited amounts since it is so time consuming. But I hope you enjoyed this video and let me know in the comment section if you have any questions. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!